Uh, hi, I'm Chris Renat. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be answering uh, some assumptions you guys have about me. Uh, this is my first video. Hope you guys like it. Okay, so the first one is you're always drunk. False. I used to be, I recently fixed my life and and not only drinking like special occasions, but um, you know, like back in the days, I used to drink a lot, and it it was so bad. I used to like drink almost like every day of the week, maybe five days a week, and you know, fix myself. Now don't drink. Okay, and the next one says that you're a free spirit. You live life to its fullest extent. You push your limits to see what you can do. I didn't understand that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that you're a free spirit. So like free spirit, like I do what I want. Yeah, and you live life to the fullest. You push your limits. Yeah, I, I, I have a saying. Like I always went through the saying, like fuck it. You know what I mean? Like I do, I do what I like when I want, and you know I kind of like, I never say no. That's kind of my thing. I try everything. You know what I mean? I've done everything, even though like you know sometimes I might be scared or whatever. It's like. My my mind would tell me no, but my body would say yes. So I would still do it. You know what I mean? So I've like I've done very crazy stuff like in my life, and you know I don't regret going by by that. You know, fuck it. Next one says you don't want a relationship. I didn't want a relationship till now. Like I I might I'm in a relationship right now, and I'm very happy. I never thought I I would want one. Like. But, you know, I'm, I'm on one right now and I'm very happy. You're a very loyal friend. You're the ride or die type. Definitely. If I truly care for you, like, I will do anything for you. Like, no matter what. You know, like, if it's like, if one night you call me and you're like, I'm in trouble, like, I'll find a way to get to you. Like, that's the type of person I am. That's, that's how I like, you know, that, that's how I've lived all my life. Anyone that's close to me, I will do anything for. You're a Leo. No, I'm Scorpio. You don't work, your parents give you money. That's like the biggest lie I've ever heard. I've, my parents have never ever in my life given money. Like I grew up, like my parents like taught me like, you know, I should never like expect to get anything whenever I wanted to. If I ever want anything, I'll have to like work for it. All my life, I've, I've worked like, I'm from Mexico City. So first job, I think I was 12. I used to work outside, um, um, supermarket and I would help the ladies with the grocery bags and I would carry them all the way to the cars that was my first job so you know since I'm 12 you know I never ever like ask my parents for money or anything like that you're sweet and overprotective especially with your family definitely well sweet I don't know if sweet like you know I've never been like that close with my parents in like you know, in a way that we're very affectionate. Like, I'm close with my parents, but we're not very affectionate towards each other. But definitely, I would do anything for them any day of any day. Next one, there is two questions that are similar to each other. First one is, you're a very angry person. And another one says, you have big anger issues. That's true. I, um, I do have uh, really bad anger issues that I'm, I'm working on. Like, uh, I'm going to... Anger management, like classes, like sort of therapy online, and I'm like trying to fix my anger slowly but surely, definitely. A lot of people are saying you look tough on the outside, but you're actually a softie on the inside. I disagree. Um, I think I'm just a softie. <laughs> you're jealous and overprotective. Very jealous, very overprotective, very possessive as well. This one says, you're freaky. Yeah. <laughs> Very. Another one says, you're sensitive, you take things to heart, and short-tempered. Yeah. And enjoy the company of family and friends. Yeah, I definitely enjoy my, the company of my family and friends. Like, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person that, you know, if I could be with my family or friends, you know, I'm, I'm happy. And I do have short temper and you know I tend to like I don't know if sensitive no, I'm not sensitive but you know there's some things that like that you could do to me that would affect me more than others you know what I mean 
and I could react to some things, like exaggerate and get really mad for very like stupid things. I don't know. You have a fitness lifestyle. Yeah, like um, uh, the fitness life that I have, it's been part of my life for a very long time. You know, I used to be very overweight and very insecure, and you know, I worked so hard to like, you know, get the body I have, you know, the confidence that I have right now. Something big happened to you that changed you, so you behave cold to protect yourself. Yeah, it's very, very true. I don't think it's just one thing big that happened. I think it's a, a mono, like a series of things that have, have happened in my life that have made me who I am. Like in terms of that, I don't, I don't trust people very easily. I, you know, like it's hard for me to let someone in in my life. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's true. The next one says, you're a really fun person, but you like to get in fights a lot. I would say I'm fun, definitely. Very fun, like, you know, if you're, like, I love to party, I love going out, I love drinking, you know, when, I love drinking when it's a good time to drink, you know what I mean? When a good occasion. And about fighting, um, I just, you know, I never let anyone disrespect me, you know, and I've got any fights that I've lost, so many times, you know, I've, I've fought three people at the same time, three against one, you know what I mean? And I've gotten my ass beaten very badly. But that's because, you know, I, I never let people disrespect me, you know what I mean? Like, you could be a better fighter, you could be bigger than me, but I would not back down ever, you know what I mean? And that's kind of how I, like, how it's, I've always been, because in Mexico, that's, that's how you gotta be, you know, too, so people respect you. Okay, the next assumption says you love reggaeton. Yeah, it's my favorite um, music, definitely. My dream is to be a, a reggaeton singer. This one says you're moody. Yeah, especially when I don't drink a coffee in the morning, my day goes like really bad. You're mean to kids and are a rich person. Uh, I'm not mean to kids. I would never be mean to a kid. and. Unless it's my little sister, I'm a little mean to her. And I'm not rich at all. I'm the opposite. The next one is a question, not an assumption. Okay. Someone is asking where you're from. Uh, I'm from Mexico City. I was born in uh, Playa del Carmen. You guys probably heard of it. It's like a very nice uh, place to vacation. Uh, when I was six years old, I moved to Mexico City. And when I was 15, I moved to uh, Toronto. You're so cute, but you are hurt. Like, what I'm trying to say, something is hurting you. Maybe I'm wrong. Thank you for calling me cute. Um, about being hurt, um, I guess I've been hurt in the past multiple times. And now I'm just in the process of, you know, like, healing and, you know, bettering myself. You know, like, just be good, I guess. Another one says, these two are kind of opposites. First one says, you are 24. No. And then the second one says, you look young. I'm pretty young. This one says, you can sing. I like to think so. This one says, you've gone through a lot alone. Yeah, there was some times where like, you know, you know I, I didn't have a lot of people there for me and and at the time I was going through a lot, so I had no one to to talk to about my problems or like, you know, so I just most of the times had to deal with them alone. So I relied so much on like fighting and, you know, bad stuff. Next one says that you are really, really, really hot with a lot of teas. Thank you. I don't know if that's an assumption or... Next one says you're from the UK. No, I'm not from the UK. Actually, my uh, my grandparents from my dad's side are from England, so maybe that explains a little bit of why maybe I look from the from London or whatever. But I'm from Mexico. The next one says you're a childish little boy who has a lot to learn about life. I don't think I'm childish at all. And yeah, definitely, there's probably so much stuff I still need to learn about life. You know, maybe I am childish to an extent, but for my age, I think I'm 
I'm pretty good, like, you know. This one says, I think that you have, like, a million girls falling for you. No. <laughs> yes. I don't think your answer was right. The next one says, you're a really good boyfriend. I try to be. This one says, you were that nice boy when you were younger, and now you're the hot guy every girl want to bang. I think I was a nice boy when I was younger. I don't know if every girl wants to bang me. I don't know if that's true, but yeah. This one says, you were that one weird ass kid in school. I think I'm still that weird kid. I don't think that has changed at all. Someone says you're more beautiful on the inside than you are on the outside. That's true. <laughs> Someone said that you're an only child. No, I have a twin brother. Uh, I have a younger brother and a younger sister. So we're four. The next one says you can draw. Yeah, I took um, painting classes for 11 years. But the reason I did painting is because, you know, I, I had a really big thing for drawing when I was a kid. I loved drawing. Sadly, I lost, you know, I, I don't do it anymore. But I've always been a very artistic person. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to like, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.